Hey guys, uh, Dave Kincaid with Able Cine here, and today we're going to be talking about the Canon C100, how to kit it out, how to rig it out. So right now we've just got a base plate on the camera and a quick release plate. We're going to add rods and build a couple of different rigs here and show you a couple of different configurations and show you some um, kitting options with external recorders and with audio and with all that kind of stuff. So as you guys can see now, I have a very, very ENG style rig set up with the, the Canon C100 and I have a Atomos Ninja 2 recorder and I have it rigged up on the camera and I have some other accessories that are helping me get this camera up on my shoulder and be able to shoot it more like an ENG camera. Um, one thing to keep in mind with any rigging is rigging should be specific to the application. It should be specific to the camera operator. Um, no two rigs really are alike because no two camera operators are really alike. So really the, the main thing with any rigging of any camera is to get the ergonomics right for that specific operator. This configuration, um, I have the ability to monitor right here on the Ninja 2 from Atomos and I can record audio and be able to focus and zoom on my uh, Canon L-Series lens here. I'll show you um, some more about the ergonomics of this and talk to you a little bit more about what some of these parts and pieces are called. So the first thing you guys will notice about this camera is I've relocated the grip with a grip relocator from Zacuto, and I also have um, this accessory. So this is a um, QR or Z-QR from Zacuto, and it's also a shoulder pad and rods from Zacuto. So what this allows me to do is I can very quickly take the camera off the tripod, attach this accessory here, Tighten this down. Now, I have the camera in the same ENG style configuration that I had it before, and you know, very, very quick within a few seconds on and off of the tripod. So moving to the top of the camera, we see we have a Noga arm that we're using to attach the um, Ninja 2 recorder. We also are using a Zotchu from Zacuto. It's a quarter 22 cold chew adapter for the top of the camera we have here. Um, and we also have uh, an HDMI cable from a cell that um, rotates and allows us to put this cable pretty much wherever we want. So a very, very convenient um, cabling option there. And then we have, as you guys can see, we have a Rode NTG1 microphone with a um, Rycote CC hot shoe bushing here. So very, very convenient setup for being able to be very light and quick and record audio and video and be able to take advantage of the benefits of an external recorder. So another way to configure this camera, if we want to get the camera positioned out in front of us and be able to have easy access to all the menus, and all the buttons, all that kind of stuff, um, I still have the grip relocator, I still have the same base plate, but I put on longer rods, and I've also added a um, 15 millimeter um, rod offset bracket, as well as a shoulder pad and a uh, weight in the back of the camera to help counterbalance it. So this allows me to have it more in like a DSLR type of configuration where I have all the buttons, all the menus are easy access out in front here. So thanks again guys for watching. I hope that this helped maybe demystify a little bit of this camera rigging stuff for you guys. Um, leave us some comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks.